Good morning, my name is Nisha. If you're new here, I am a first and second grade math specialist and I would love if you subscribe to my videos so that you can see updates um, because right now I'm teaching fully remote because it's 2020 and there's a pandemic and so I get to teach six, seven, eight, and nine year olds online. It's pretty exciting and very different from what I usually do, but I hope that you'll join me and fingers crossed that by next year maybe that I will be teaching back in person. I just realized in that first clip I said nine year olds and I don't think any of my students are nine or will turn nine because in first grade it's like six to seven and then in second grade they're seven slash eight. But it is um, 8.44 in the morning. My first class is at nine o'clock and I teach that class on Thursdays and Fridays, whole group. Small groups are a little iffy right now because it's online. So doing breakout rooms is like just crazy with, you know, six year olds, like it's crazy. But I have about 15 minutes in which I could eat breakfast. So I'm gonna do that. And thankfully I am in my home, which is so different and so weird. If I was at school, I would have to be there at 7.15 and I do breakfast duty. So I would just like hang out and stand and watch kids eat breakfast. So it's just a very different kind of day. Um, so I never eat cereal, but I went grocery shopping yesterday and I bought myself <laughs> this like ridiculous sugar cereal. Lucky Charms Honey Clovers. I was just hungry when I was grocery shopping, so don't do that. It's a terrible idea. Right now it's about 8.25 and I'm gonna change the slides for my first class. Um, a lot of people don't realize this, but when you're teaching remotely and your curriculum is made for in person, you're kind of rewriting everything because there's just a lot of things we can't do online that we can do in person. I am about to join the class on Zoom and um, I join other people's Zoom classrooms when I'm teaching whole group and then I teach small groups on my own. Little. For the rest of my life, for the rest of my life, I would eat brownies because they're chocolatey and because there's square ones. We're gonna do count back cheers. It's a little trickier. It's a little harder. Because if I say 10, you have to count backwards. 10, 9, 8. 5, 5, 4, 3. Yes! 4, 3, 2. Yes! That class is so fun. I love teaching first grade. It is my number one pride and joy and love to teach first grade and so this year is actually my first year as a second grade math specialist too so the fact that I'm doing it online and during a pandemic and learning a new curriculum is I mean it's not a new curriculum sorry it's a new grade but it's just a little bit trickier and so I love when I get to go to first grade every morning and just soak all that in because I feel like I know it and I can adapt things in the way that I like to do and teach so that feels really good. Alright, make a pattern, make a pattern, let's make a pattern, okay. I just finished that second grade class and now I have time to eat lunch even though it's about 11 o'clock so it's gonna be a big day. I might try to hop to the post office during another little break I have, we will see but I do need to send things to my sister who lives in Europe and it's just a whole process because the box I have is ginormous because it's her Christmas present. But first, it's time for avocado toast. The thing I just realized too about being a teacher and a YouTuber is that you're seeing such a small piece of my day. So the stuff that I film is the stuff that I can film. I will not show like 
me teaching a whole lesson or my kids responding back to me usually um i can't show their faces and i'm not really trying to show you like an entire hour or two's worth of me sitting and just like working like i said before we're rewriting all of these lessons for the curriculum so that they make sense online but also so that they're more fun i always do that with lessons i have not met a teacher that just reads the curriculum straight because most of the time it's boring and it's made by people who are not necessarily current teachers and so we're just trying to do the best we can for these kids and i'm not trying to sugarcoat what is happening during this pandemic because teaching right now is absolutely crazy it feels different and i wanted to document it mostly for me and so if you're here to judge what a teacher does during their day or try to assume that you know everything that goes on in a school day working from home um i will tell you that it's not easy and also that if you think it is i welcome you to try it there are of course many teachers who are in person and i really am grateful that i get to be home and be safe at home because i know so many teachers have been exposed to this virus and we just don't know enough about it to know what the long-term health effects are. So that's all I'm gonna say about that. Coming, we're gonna get a board and a marker to write with, okay? I'm gonna go get mine. Okay. I got cold and put on this like ridiculous Sherpa sweater and I just finished packing up this ginormous box that I'm sending to my sister. It is heavy and large and it's probably gonna cost over a hundred dollars to send to Europe which is totally fine because I haven't seen my family in I think a year now they came for last Christmas and it's been almost a year and obviously because of the pandemic they haven't been able to travel here and we have not been able to travel there so all worth it to send over some like goodies from the US that they can't really get there I am back from the post office I have one more class today I grabbed a snack really quick and um, hopefully I'll run after this because it is really nice out and we've been having really cold days but it's beautiful outside right now. So I'm glad I ran out really quick just to go to the post office. And now my last class of the day, it is Friday. I feel good about it and uh, I will see you right before my run. I just finished the last class. I'm about to change and go for a run. The sun is going to set real soon. So I'm actually going to end the vlog here and hopefully I will see you guys tomorrow on the weekend. And I am hoping that I get to do some Christmas decorating. So that is what you have to look forward to. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.